sneezing. Powder. Ugh. Try not to sneeze. Have to hold it in. This is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. Okay. This is the Indigo Experiment. And welcome back to more Psychonauts. Last time something pretty bad happened. And I think I just um, put in the cutscene anyway twice, so... Well, what's the point? Unless, you know, future me is just kind of a jerk, but I don't know. Well, really, present me is a jerk. So, no items in your pack, because all of our items are um, in our brainless body. Or, they're in our- yeah, he just ate all of them, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, that is actually plausible. But anyway, you can't, um, use any items for obvious reasons. As for psi powers, the only ones you can use are telekinesis, invisibility, and shield. So, invisibility just makes you invisible, you know, as you might have thought. There's no time limit on it, though, which I find kind of weird. I mean, I don't know, maybe, um... And maybe keeping it just, um, the brain invisible is easier than keeping the, um, body and everything invisible. Shield still has a, um, power. Well, it still has a time limit. Yeah, shield still has a power. What am I thinking? So, I don't know, I just thought it was a bit weird, that's all. I guess, yeah, I guess it's because of shield, you're, just, you're still um, projecting a shield, whereas um, invisibility, you ha you're making much less invisible, plus it's the part that's the most associated with psychic powers anyway. Telekinesis lifts you up in the air. Now pause the video and try to guess what you're going, what do you need to do here? Alright, okay. What do you need to do? You have pretty limited options. Just toss yourself with telekinesis. And now let's go over there, because why not? And into the tank. You can't actually make it in one go. So I just put it away so it didn't look- well, a bit farther away from it so it didn't look like I was phasing through the bottom of the glass. And when you're ready, make absolutely certain that you are ready. supposed to know about it. <gasps> you didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, that's him! Oh no! Oh, come on, little bunny! We'll be safe in here! Question one. Why is he white? are pretty thoroughly screwed right here. So, you know, we don't really have much of an option. Let's go into the caravan. Down the esophagus we go. Now, right here, this cobweb, there is a glitch where occasionally, I don't know if it'll happen on the Steam version because it's never happened to me, but um, occasionally your cobweb duster will just disappear right here, which sucks. So I guess, I don't know, you need to retry re until it, um, works. And now I need to burp. Anyway, you can see that Galachios. Galachios, I don't know if that's, um... Well, if that's a, you know, misspelling of it or anything. Oh, look, Galachios dead. Bunny's alive. But anyway, the, um, hand that, um, drags down R Raz when you go into water is, um, officially known as the, um... Well, as the hand of Galaccio. It, so, it's pretty easily gathered that it's a little rival family. Oh, well, look at this. I've never noticed these before. Alligator boy, dead. World's skinniest guy, dead. Meat, alive. Bunnies, alive. And 
Let's see, what else is there? Knife thrower. I think that says dead. Colaccio is dead, but he's alive. Fat lady alive. Why is the fat lady alive? I don't know. And the Quados alive. The Aquados, it turns out. Well, right here, this is a. Um, this made the fan base think that um, Raz's last name was Aquato. That's Rasputin Aquato. This has been officially confirmed. So, anyway, without any further ado. Welcome to hell. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little buddy, don't go in there! That's a bad place! That's a bad place for bunnies! Alright, let's just ignore that idiot and run around for a minute. This is the items you've scavenged, the webs, the cards, and brains just to redeem them is all that remains. This dude right here, he will um, let you redeem anything you can have redeemed before. This is why you need all six side cards, because you can't get them anymore. So we just hit into the power. So I'm um, pretty obviously, either there are a whole eight side cards that are completely useless, or there's one cobweb somewhere in here. It is quite obviously the latter. Oh my god, what is that thing? It's kind of freaky, honestly. Oh, come on! There we go. I don't really have that much else to say about this place. Other than it's really freaking hard. Yeah. So down here you can find a confusion ammo up. There's not really much point to it for us. Because, well, we have the infinite ammo upgrade. But, well, you know, in the interest of cleaning out levels, right? I have no idea what I- shit. Ah! Oh, also, you got a quarter brain for um, defeating the brain tank and saving Lily's brain. I just used the word brain three times in the same sentence. Although, you might notice, we still have 11 astral projection layers. This is a pretty important thing. In this mental world, in this Steam version, this doesn't apply to the console version. Since this place is so freaking hard, as you'll see in a minute, the only way you will actually lose an astral projection layer is if you, um... Well, is if you run out of health. And given that we have regeneration and three dream fluffs, by the way, make sure you have three dream fluffs before passing the point of no return. I thought that was really common sense, but you know, just in case. Um, well, we're going to more or less... I don't think um, that running out of life is going to be a big problem. We can more or less commit suicide willy-nilly to get figments, which is what I'm going to do a bit later on. But anyway... <laughs> the... The fig... Well, the, um... People might say it's too easy. Why would you say that's too easy? I hate live systems anyway. They're outdated, they belong to the age of um, arcades, when basically they were meant to pump quarters from the pockets of young children. Not necessarily young, but oh well, that's not the point here. The point is, it's outdated, and it doesn't even add anything to the game. So really, what's the point? Well, okay, so it did add the search for um, the golden heads. You gotta help me save the bunny! him and hide him from my dad. He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. Oh, that's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Jeez, I'm going to have uh -oh. so much trouble thinking of an episode title for this one. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Ah! Help! <laughs> My face! Yeah, so letting little Oli run out of health won't make you lose a life. So it's less risk than, um, I guess you could say it would be. Anyway, I'm going to run around and get figments here for a little while. Come here, little bunny! 
because, well, he needs your help to get the bunny. And the um, horrible nightmare bunnies of death aren't that bad right now. So, actually, you know what? Something kind of funny. Huh? Need your analysis on a hostel. What kind? Hellish bunnies spewed forth from meat grinders? Ring a bell? At this point, I just say beat the heck out of them. Something like that shouldn't even exist. You've been very helpful. Good. Quite apt. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, also you're gonna need um, telekinesis here. I think confusion might also work, but I find telekinesis more practical in general. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. And now comes the hard part. Like an idiot, he decides to stop flying right there. I don't know, maybe his hat got tired or something? And now you have to get up to him before the bunnies murder him. My face! If you don't, you have to start the whole segment over again. Help! Oh crap, okay, good. Ah! Thankfully, this first one is pretty easy. I guess I could shoot them. Also, um, hat box in case anyone's wondering. Oh, jeez, he's going that way. Bun, bun, bun. You get up here. Oh, and here it goes again. Come on, get the bun. Get it. Get, Come here. get it. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. Probably could have just jumped to that um trap trapeze, but hey, that hurts. Also, have I mentioned that little Oli is probably my least favorite character in the game just because of this part? Oh, also turn around right here. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? I have, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, oh right, look at that. That's a grind rail. I always miss that one. So, right here, this dude, timing is very tricky here. We rub, jump, and now you're gonna have to wait for his thing to go around. Jump, jump. Oh, that was a bit too high. Anyway, so now that you're up here. Oh, yes, also, thankfully, as you might have already observed, he heals after each time he goes up. So that's. That's a blessing. Also, if you fail- Where are you going?! Bun, bun, bun! You die! You also die- Why is it giving me aggression? I have infinite ammo! Oh well, I mean, you know. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny! I guess it's something they didn't really need to put in. Oh, also, I think now is as good a time as any to mention this. That, um, if you go back, if, I don't know, an episode or two ago, and, um, you know, back to, um, my face. oh yeah, the, um, big old cutscene episode. I think that was just last episode, actually. Yeah. Yep. It was just last episode. Oh. oh right. Um, you can see that, um, during some scenes, ow! During some scenes, Ford just isn't wearing the, um, the thing that he wore. You know, the backpack thing? Watch it! Ow! Alright. I don't know, I mean... It's a fairly large plot hole. I really shouldn't complain, but, um... You know, given how great this game is otherwise, but, um... Oh my god, will he shut up? Well, at least we found him. He's over there, see it? Maybe if I could get up... Alright, he, he's actually getting kind of weak, so... We should probably just punch him. Also, have I mentioned that I love here, little bunny. just absolutely adore this music? Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. I just love it. Also, don't worry because he's safe up here. So you can take a break, you know, do whatever. Punch out awful bunnies with eyes on their feet and just nightmares. Ow. Jerk. See, 
see that? Expert. <gasps> we did it! We saved all the bunnies! <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Come on! Well, I guess technically we did save all the bunnies, but all the bunnies is only one bunny. Oh, also this jerk. Let's actually see what Ford has to say about him, because I remember it being kind of funny. Huh? Me? How do I kill that armless guy with the swords in his mouth? Hi, youth. I remember the first time I asked that very question. You can't kill something like that, but you might be able to use his weapons to your own advantage. Once his swords go into the wall, I'll bet you could swing on them in that way you do so well. He remembers the first time he asked the question, how do I kill that armless guy with the swords in his mouth? You've been very helpful. Good. I think that, um, Wizard is now a close second of fictional professions that I'd like to um, occupy. It's been beaten out by Psychonaut. Okay, the big top. I'm honestly not sure why this memory reel is called the big top. It just doesn't make very much sense to me. And I mean, well, I know that, um, oh yeah, well, I guess it's, actually, that makes a lot of sense. It's because, like, Hi Oleander's memories and um, Rez's memories are just getting all mixed up to the point where titles are just going from one thing to the next and it's just kind of freaking out. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a slight exaggeration. So, actually, my guess is maybe Oleander's dad isn't as bad as he remembers it being, or him being. Because, well, <clears throat> I mean, my bet is those bunnies were just raised specifically for food, and Oleander- Come on! This is my favorite ride! <laughs> and Oleander just um, formed a more powerful bond with them than most people because of, you know, psychic telepathy and everything. Missing. I thought I could get all the baggage right here. Oh, yeah. I couldn't. Okay. Also, right now, make sure you get this. Because if you don't, and you're going for 100%, that could be a bit of a pain later on. Also, um, people who have watched this Let's Play from the beginning might recognize this music. You know, I guess it's something I just kind of stuck in there as Easter egg. Also, remember right here. The how um how they taught you to control your speed while grinding and you know to jump over gaps and just basically how how many trials are worth grinding so how good you are at it now with controlling your speed and speeding up and slowing down and everything neither do I because that didn't happen oh wait oh crap yeah I'm gonna commit suicide now actually because well there was a figment there that I wanted to get and I won't lose a life anyway. <coughs> That's a good way to exploit that, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to basically just go around here. Jump. And jump. And now, somewhere around here, I want to slow down. Yeah, yeah. It's coming up right about here. Right there, there it is. Light up. And commit suicide. I could probably get back on the rail, but really, what's the point of the extra effort? Don't lose a life anyway. So, well, and the part up to there is more or less pretty easy. However, now that we're, we want to... Okay, also, yeah, make sure you get that one before you go all the way down. Because, well, you once you get all the way down, you teleport to the bottom when you die. So suicide isn't an option, or you, and um, then you'll have to teleport all the way back to the first area if you want another shot. Oh, crap. Yeah, I really hope no um, suicidal people are watching this video. <laughs> you didn't get a figment? 
Try suicide! Oh yeah. So just go quickly to this awesome music, right? Around here, I think, is where the whole thing went that I missed were. Yeah, right there. That one's a pretty hard one to get. Pretty tricky. Oh, right here, right here, with the pig mouth thing. Slow down. But not too much, because otherwise that'll happen. Yeah, see? The fact that I don't lose lives here doesn't make it any less hard. It's still just as hard. It's just less annoying. Right? That's what I think anyway. Oh crap. That's a gap. Oh! I rhymed, damn it. Anyway, yes, yeah, slow down here. Because otherwise you risk overshooting. So I'm gonna force it here. Now slow down again. Slow the hell down. Because otherwise I guarantee that you will. Damn it! I can usually get this in my first try. Is this is this my first dance with a Let's Play curse? My nose itches. Oh, well, I mean, you know, listening to more of this music can't be bad, right? Plus, there's only that really those two tricky figments. You know, the one where you have to jump early and the one where you have to jump off the track. The rest are more or less just straight along the path. All right, around here, and the pig mouth is coming up. Yep, there it is. Slow down. So jump. I'm gonna force jump. Jump. Slow down. Jump. 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 There we go. Made it past the hard part. And push here, because otherwise you'll turn around. Now right here. So there's a rank up there. And right now... Stop. Past this thing right there. Jeez, sorry, guy. Well, anyway, past this thing right here is. Well, let's just say that he probably won't be able to get back to get very many figments afterwards. Thankfully, there's this guy to teleport back. And I'm going to do that. I don't think I've ever really used these guys on screen before, huh? Well, anyway, that's how that works. Oh, I don't know. I'm not really liking that green, actually, now that I look at it. I'm gonna change it. Huh? Can I... How about... I don't want to use purple. How okay. This... Hope. Nothing more to repeat. Dark... Oh yeah, look at that. That I like that a lot. Let's see how it looks with shield, because it changes the shield upgrades too. It looks terrible. Oh well, just about all of them look terrible with the shield upgrades. And we are now at rank 99, missing 10 figments here. So, I'm going to cut, I think all of them are in here, until I find the very last figment in the entire game. I will see you guys in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present, very fittingly, shaped like the Double Fine logo, and in a spotlight, I'm really glad it worked out like that, that's really cool. The last figment in the entire game. Highest possible rank achieved. Now we both, we all know that that's not really, um, you know, really true. So, because, um, you know, there's rank 101, right? Which is just an enormous pain to get. And I hate it. So, of course, I'm not gonna get that. But as soon as I get to safe ground away from all these sword dudes. There. You know, let's 
check that out. <laughs> There's like a sword too, which is for my face. It's a good thing I have a, a thing, I guess. Okay, let's see if I remember where it is. I think that the secret movie is, um... I should have probably read the thing. It probably said where it was. Beneath Oblongata? No, that's not it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thorny Towers right there. Linda and Sam. What's going on? What's that sound? Oh, the insane asylum just blew up. But don't worry. Mr. Pokilo helped me save all the brains before it fell down. Mr. Pokilo? Sam, is that you? It's me, Linda, from the lake. Linda, I haven't seen you in ages. You look so... different. Uh, yeah. I've put on a little weight. Oh, you know I don't mind that one bit. Oh, Sam. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's what's going on outside. Anyway, I'm gonna have to grind down the tunnel of love again because the um the safety nets keep you from going all the way down. So I think I doubt anything interesting is really gonna happen on the way down. But I'm gonna um I guess keep it anyway. Because, so then if I have any fun bits of rage, I will be able to show them to you. Fluffy cat, fluffy cat, fluffy cat, fluffy cat. Do 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 First try! Whoa! <laughs> That's more like it. Alright, anyway, I think I'm going to save right about now. And I think we're just about done here, so... <sighs> I think we made a lot of progress in this episode, and I'm going to end off on a cliffhanger here. And, well, this has been the Indigo Experiment. I'm not even sure how long this episode is, but I did just about the whole meat circus. Well, the, the first half of it, anyway, in one whole episode, so I guess it was pretty long. Anyway, this has been the Indigo Experiment, and we are done here.